Susie Bates and Marizan Cap. Susie, commiserations, but what a game to be part of. What's this tournament and that game been like for you? Yeah, it was just awesome to be a part of. And look, we didn't have our best day today with the battle of the ball, but the way we fought and stayed in the game, uh, Mariko and Marazan's partnership there kept us in the fight. And then the way we came back with the ball was brilliant. So look, it wasn't to be today. I thought the Tornadoes bowled really well and they took all their chances and fielded really well. And then Sophie Devine came out and picked the right time to take on our bowlers and got a few sixes away, which gave them the momentum. But we were never out of it and just really um, proud of the group and I've just had such a ball and it's just great to see everyone have so much fun out there from all the teams. And um, Marazan, great to have you back for these last two games. What an impact you had today. Did it just click and you were like, right, I'm a Falcon, I'm going to show what you guys have needed all tournament. <laughs> no, I was really nervous to be honest. Um, I'm someone that I have to do my preparation to be confident. Um, luckily, it, it came off, but um, we are still uh, would have we would have liked to win today. Um, but uh, again, the tornado played really well. And how happy were you to be able to actually get some game time in these last two games? Because you've been watching on avidly. In the last ten days, it's, it's not been the best. I'm not going to lie. Um, I was very sick. Um, but it's so nice to, to get out in the park with the girls. You almost feel like you're not part of the team if you haven't played. Um, so it was just nice to get out there with the girls, see the smiles on their faces, win or lose it. It was just an amazing experience. Uh, Susie, what's been the highlight of this whole experience for you? Oh, that's a tough question. I think it's just the way everyone celebrated each other's success, the excitement when players took wickets, like, you know, even the nature of, even though Danny White was on my team today, for the Thailand bowler to get her out in that brilliant catch, um, you sort of celebrate that just as a cricketer. And to see Anju bowl the way she has all tournament and those players that have just gained so much confidence from performing against some of the best players in the world. And that's probably been the highlight that they now believe that they are great cricketers and, you know, they can take on the world. So it's been pretty cool. Um Obviously, we're following the loss of the final, but you seem to have a different sort of air about you to perhaps when captains come away losing big finals. Is it just the feel of this tournament and that joy that it brings, win or lose, really? Yeah, I sort of talked to Mignon Dupree out there before and I, yeah, I don't know what it is, but, you know, at World Cups, we don't celebrate each other's success. We want everyone to lose and we want people to fail and it's really competitive and, you know, it is something that maybe we can take into the future of women's cricket because everyone's out there, no matter where they're from, just trying to do their best. And so everyone gives it their all. And so when people do do well, it's just really nice to celebrate it. And you can't always succeed yourself. So when you can celebrate others, it is a nicer feeling. So when you lose, if you can look at positives, it's a nice way to go about it. And talking of positives, one for you is you got your old mate Sophie Devine out with a fantastic catch just as she was flying. Are you going to be bragging about that one later? I don't think there'll be any bragging from me tonight. She batted extremely well, and I actually just fetched the ball where she hit into the stand. I had to climb over oh, the fence, the ball before, <laughs> fetch the ball. So thankfully, she decided not to hit it out of the park, but I was pretty nervous how fast that was coming, and I just got to my knees and hoped that I caught it. <laughs> um, what did you like to watch some of the players grow in your team? Uh, it's been awesome. Um, you know, the way Aspatu, I know she's an um, international cricketer and gets lots of opportunities, but that's the best I've ever seen her bat in a tournament. She was brilliant for us. Um, and just the way Noi gets out so fed of iron today, the celebration, they'll never forget those moments. And there's some moments that people are going to remember forever. So I've loved Captain and hopefully we can come back as a, a Falcon squad again. Amazing. Well, we won't keep you any longer. I'll let you go and brag about that catch. We'll ignore the six before. We'll cut out the highlights. Thank you so much. We've absolutely loved having you both as part of Fair Break 2022. And hopefully see you in Hong Kong next year. That would be great.